Alright, people, welcome back. This is Forza Motorsport 6 Apex, so... Yeah, basically what this is, is like kind of like Forza Motorsport 6, but it's for PC. Since this game was- since this game is free, so... Okay, we're rocking with the Corvette C7R, and we're gonna do Piercing in the Dark at Sebring. I mean, but yeah, this should be fun, so. Racing at night takes a special kind of courage. As daylight fades and the track closes in, the world becomes two pools of light just 50 meters ahead. And at 150 miles an hour, that's a distance that passes in a heartbeat. Once you've left the stadium lights, the apex of every corner becomes incredibly elusive, appearing just fractions of a second before it passes. This is where a car and driver become one, alone in the dark, cutting through night in relentless pursuit of victory. So yeah, we from us got the SLS AMG, the C7R, the R8, the 12C, the Z4, the 4.5A, the Bentley, and the Aston Martin. But, we're gonna go with the Corvette. So, Your yeah. next race will be at Sebring International Raceway. The Florida weather and challenging surfaces are drawn for race testing in winter. I mean, that is true, because like, a lot of people do test at Sebring, because the bumps, because he used to be an airfield back in the day. But, um, yeah. I mean, as of right now, I really don't have anything to stream. Well, I mean, as of right now, but I will do... I know y'all gonna judge me for this, but I will do a Roblox video probably later on with my friends Kristen and Krista of us just playing many different games. You know, I hope you guys enjoy it. So, I mean, it will be my first video with, like, people in it as well, but... But yeah, um, let's see. Yeah, let's get this race started, though. Okay, let's see. Nope. That's not doing anything for me. Okay, that's the key. Jesus Christ, where's the settings for the audio? Okay, there we go. Alright, let me just turn this down a little bit so I can actually hear myself talk. But yeah, we got three lap laps. So our requirement is sixth place. But we want to go for the gold. As, yeah, oh boy, hit the brakes a little bit too hard. Jesus Christ, this AI is annoying sometimes. But yeah, racing in the dark. It is true, it's kind of... Kind of sketchy racing in the dark, you know? Because you can't really see anything at all once you leave like the racetrack. Or you go to the part of the racetrack with no lights. Yeah, we're already up to ninth and um, working on this McLaren 12C over here. And we're gonna go to the right, because you left it open and. Oh boy, he's already making a lunge on the Z4. And we should be. Tap him a little bit. I mean, but yeah. This is... Yeah, normally this is like a PC game, but I play with my Xbox controller, because I'm used to playing racing games with my controller. Alright. Oh boy. Alright, now we're gonna work on the Z4. As fireworks just went off. A little bit ahead. Yep, I knew it. Alright, on the outside of the Z4, um, relatively easy. Now we're on the Aston Martin, which is a very old car, so. And it's one of the best cars in Forza 6. Because of the V12 that he's got. 
as you can tell, because he's trying to pass the Audi, so... That's also something. Um, let's see. Now we're in turn 17, where the bumps. I mean, you guys probably won't be able to tell, but my controller is vibrating, as of right now. As we went past the Aston Martin, so... Tucked a slipstream behind the Audi. I mean, granted, I'm in a car built for endurance. And that Audi is a GT3. And I'm in a GTE. So basically, the difference between GTE and GT3s is like... GTE cars have high downforce, so that you can like pretty much break later in the corner. GT3s have less downforce. So... That's pretty much like one difference that's easy to remember. So, all right, now we're up to fifth. But I want to go for this win. Right, as we're catching up to another Corvette, and I go off the grass a little bit. Oh my god! Yeah, because the grass is going to be absolutely terrible. And there goes the Aston Martin, just go blazing right by him, so why don't you? Can we pass? I'm just gonna hit him a little bit. Ah, for the love of God, move! Thank you. I really don't have to bump you out of the way, but that's racing. Y you can see the horsepower that that V12 has. And I did not mean to press that. That's not what I wanted to press. Forza, thank you. And... Uh, I'm about to go off the track. Ah, uh, no. And there goes the Aston Martin taking off yet again. I was saying, and there's the Audi right behind me. That's great. You can tell how like the Aston just gets like a big drive off the corner because it's literally just driving away from me. So. Yeah, V12, more cylinders, more power, apparently. That's how the way it goes. Uh, but yeah. That car is old, I wanted a brand new car. With brand new rules and whatnot. Hey, right, we got a Corvette and a Bentley going at it up ahead. And then the Aston Martin is going to get thrown right into the mix. Because why not? As first place is pretty much gone on the map. Alright. Alright, the Corvette's pretty much losing ground to the Aston. I'm not sure if this guy is like slow or what, but yeah, I I'm trying to race over here, dude. As I get no room left. Yeah, there's no way we're gonna be able to catch in the first place because he's gone. I wanna get past this Aston Martin so I can catch up to that big old Bentley. Okay, move the Aston out the way and then we put the hammer down to try to get away from him. Um, right. But, yeah, that happens. Alright, Bentley hits the curbs and slows down. I'm up to third. And there's the Mercedes SLS. I mean, sure, the Mercedes is not one of the best cars in this game, but Project Cars 2, it is one of the most smoothest handling GT3 cars I've ever drove. So. But, uh, yeah. Um, right. Hopefully, we can go for like one last dive bomb before the Aston catches up. Come on. Move. Yep, thank you. Power down and 
I mean, it's not the result I wanted, but I'll take second as that B12 still kicks in. But, uh, yeah. Second place, it's not bad. So. Except for it's not the best, but I'll take it. New car unlocked, Audi R8. The McLaren 12C. Alright then. Alright, so uh, that's two GT3 car. Well, yeah, two GT3 car against the elements. Let's see, we gotta play sixth or better. Finish in first place, reach 160 miles. Perhaps. These are mostly to be found at Le Mans and other round the clock races where, despite giving 100% for hour after hour, they can't break down or crash. And sometimes that's easier said than done. There are extremely fast cars, the prototypes made purely for long distance racing, and others, the Grand Tourers, that are modified to go the distance. Together, they represent billions of dollars of investment, and they compete in the world's most famous and valuable races. See, so yeah, we've got the Perjo, the Nismo, the Audi, the Perjo again, and the Audi. I'm gonna go with the Perjo, so. Is that the only car they're gonna give us and a design? Alright, you know what? Since I don't really like most of these designs, we're just gonna go with this one. Bridgestone tires, kind of loud. Alright, so basically, if you didn't really get the video, basically Le Mans is like a 24 hour race. It's also another big race. But uh, the 24 Hours of Le Mans is basically the biggest race in the world where car manufacturers will spend lots of money just to win the race. So, yeah, we're pretty much going to be in prototypes, which have very good handling, a lot of speed, and a lot of downforce. So this should be good. Oh, there's multi-class racing. All right, let's get it. Hey, right, so yeah, we've got the Aston up ahead. Is that a BMW in the Lamborghini, I see? But, uh, yeah. The, we got Grand Tours, and then we got the prototypes. Alright. I'm oh, sorry, you're in the back. Yeah, we got the Aston Martins and the Corvettes. The Z4s as well. Oh, boy. Yeah, and then we got the Nissan Nismo. I mean, this car, I mean, this Peugeot is fast. Oh boy. And then we're racing in the rain as well, so that even makes it more difficult. Oh my god. So yeah, now we leave the GTs behind, and now we go set our sights on. First place. We reach 180 miles per hour. Alright, oh boy. Yeah, so it's raining, which means that the handling on the car is going to go away quite a lot. Yeah, see what I mean? We've gone straight to the corner, but the water. Oh god, I suck at racing in the rain. Crying a loud game. No, I wasn't even far enough. That was not far enough. Yeah, I really need to stop slamming on the brakes. Okay, move out the way. Nissan, you need to go because your prototype failed miserably. Alright. 
pass the Audi. As we're currently in sixth place, so I mean it's really not that bad considering that this is multi-class racing. Oh boy! Somehow I should have known that was gonna happen. But uh, yeah, the Nissan decided to hit the brakes for God knows why. Oh, yeah, that was that was close. <laughs> Jesus Christ! I need to stop talking. I need to focus. And yeah, I, I saw that. So so why don't we? Alright, you know what? Screw it. Alright, we're just, we're just gonna roll with it, alright. And then sixth place, which is the requirement that we need in order to complete this event. And now we go two for one. As my frame rates keep dropping down a little bit. Yeah, the frame rates. And okay. Come on, come on, get back on the track, get back on the track, thank you. Oh yeah, three cars have passed. Yeah, we can just get away with this one yeah and then this program will be my last video until well no this program will be my last race until I get on Roblox and play with Christian and Krista for God's sake Give some space, please. Thank you. Okay, well, that Audi is... G. I mean, I know he just ran into me, but like... Yeah, that that's what happened, bro. We don't drive in the rain, right? And I also kind of ate in my own words there. Alright, so this is pretty much the final lap, so I'm not expecting the GT cars to be a factor. So I mean, as long as I can just hold on to this race and I can just win. Yeah. I mean, so. Yeah. Alright, final lap. I only got one more lap to do. And then I call it a day for Forza. It's been like a long time since I played any Forza game, to be honest, because I've mostly been playing on my laptop. And now let me get away from the wall. Oh boy. That was horrible. But uh, whew, tired, man. We're doing nothing all day. Alright, well, um, let's see. Gotta go back through here and then cut through here. And hit the wall, because why not? Now I got another Persia. I mean, no, I, I got another car right behind me. I thought, I think that's a Persia. Right, yep, it's Persia. I knew it, it was a purge all the time. I did not put the tires on the grass.
I mean, hopefully I can buy like a racing wheel pretty soon so that I can actually be competitive instead of having to use a controller. But then again, I also have to learn how to tune the cards up, so that's going to take a while. And we just hit the tire barrier again. Alright, well, um, doesn't look like I'm going to be any competition here, so I guess that's pretty much it. Alright, let's not do that again. Alright, so, uh, meanwhile, let's just coast it. Take it easy a little bit. Alright, so that's a second place, and then that's a win. So, what a great way to start off a video. But, uh, yeah, we won in sp at Spa in the rain. So, 350,000 RP. Awesome, we get all three. New driver level, professional, two stars. And CTR, prototype, Zonda. The 2011 Audi, that's three cars. All right, well, um, I don't really know what to say, but I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video and, you know, like and subscribe for more Forza Apex. But, uh, yeah. I mean, but, like, if you guys, like, have some games to play on PC, just put them in, just, like, put them down below, and I'll see if I can buy them or not, but, uh, yeah. This is Forza Motorsport 6 Apex, and, uh, hope you guys enjoy the video.